Hi, Cindra Kampoff here, High Performance Coach, here to help you master your mindset to reach your greater potential. You know, I love listening to podcasts in my car, and I drive at least an hour each week, sometimes even more if I have several speaking engagements. And listening to a podcast in the car doesn't require me to have any extra time on my end, and I love the opportunity to better myself so I can serve others more effectively like you. And one day, a few weeks ago, I was listening to Amy Porterfield's podcast, and she was interviewing a woman named Marie Forleo, who has her own show and a successful online program called B-School. And they were talking about asking yourself high value questions that bring value to yourself and your business, instead of asking yourself low value questions. And one of the questions Marie suggested asking yourself regularly was this one. What behaviors would you be doing if you were the best in the world at what you do? Now, whoa, let me repeat that. What behaviors would you be doing if you were the best in the world at what you do? Now that question hit me in the gut because I started thinking about myself. Am I really engaging in behaviors that the best in the world would do, even though I work with some of the world's best? So I got home and I wrote that question on three sticky notes. One I put by my desk, one I put by my bedside, and one I put in my car. And I've been looking at it every day since then and hear how it's helped me. If I don't want to get up in the morning, I think, what would the best in the world do? They would get up with excitement and passion and they would get up right now. If I didn't want to go for a run the last couple weeks, I'd ask myself, what would the world's best marathoner do? They would commit and they'd run with full energy and excitement, giving their best every run. And if I was uneasy before a speech, I'd think, what would the world's best keynoter do? They would bring it, they'd bring the energy and connect with the audience. And a few times in the last few weeks, I wanted to get mad at my kids. And then I thought, whoa, what would the best parent do? They'd show love and care for their kids, but guiding them along the way. And I thought about what would the world's best do as I prepared this video and recorded my podcast this week. So this question has helped me level up my life, my habits, my work, and my running. This one question has transformed my mindset. So how can you use that question? What behaviors would you be doing if you were the best in the world at what you do? First, I'd encourage you to make a list of those behaviors. What would you actually be doing every day if you were working to be the best in the world? And second, I'd encourage you to take the seven day challenge. Let that question guide you and guide your life this week. And I guarantee just like me, you'll feel different. You'll feel a different level of commitment energy and passion for your work, for your life, for your family, and for your sport. Because we all have a desire to be at our best consistently. And it's an innate need we all have. And then tell me what happens. What happens by the end of the week? What outcomes do you experience by working to be one of the world's best and doing what the world's best do? You can come back to this site, share a comment below, or you can reach out to me on social media or email. My friends, I can't wait to hear from you because high performers don't play small. They play big. They continuously push themselves in their limits and they go after their big dreams with passion and energy and excitement. And each day they work to be at their best so they can reach their greater potential. They ask themselves the question that Marie Forleo said, what would the best in the world do right now? Now we're gonna end with an affirmation today that you can find on my website or under my blog tab there, or my Twitter page at mentally underscore strong. And it's this, I play big. I move forward towards my dreams and goals with passion. I do what the world's best do. And if you're watching this anywhere other than my blog, you can head over to drsyndra.com. Leave a comment, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Share it with a friend or two to help share a positive message. It would mean the world to me. And I look forward to hearing from you by the end of the week. Have an outstanding day, my friends. Get gritty and be mentally strong.